Hi everyone, this is Orly. In this video, I will be sharing with you some tips on how to pass the demo lesson on NativeCamp. So for those who do not know, yung process para makapag-workout for Native Camp, the first process is the EPT or the English Proficiency Test. You will have to answer 40 questions for like 20 minutes. At pag napasa mo yun, you can go to the system check. Pag nakapasa ka naman sa system check, you will have the demo lesson. Also, I just want to give you some tips para mapasa mo ang system check. So during the system check, a Filipino staff will be interviewing you for at least five minutes. Doon nila ito check kung meron kang clear audio at plain background. Tatanungin ka rin nila about your work experience. Other Filipino staff will ask you about three things that you know about Native Camp. So you can say that it's a Japanese company. They have a branch office in Cebu. You can also say na they cater students from beginners to advanced. They were very lenient that day in terms of um, accepting applicants before they accept applicants with no ESL work experience. But nowadays, naging strict na sila. Kung wala kang ESL experience, you have to tell them about a work experience na related sa ESL teaching. For example, if you don't have an ESL experience, you can tell them na you have been helping out your brother or your sister or your sibling um, in their homework and you teach them that subject, the English subject. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na wala kang, wala kang experience at all. Because most of the people I know na sinabi yun, they were not able to pass. So you need to at least look for an experience na related sa English teaching. This time, let's go to the demo lesson. Para sa demo lesson, you have to remember warm-up, lesson proper, and feedback or review. So for the warm-up part, you need to start with the greetings, audio-video check, self-intro, speech rate, at lesson proper. So hindi ka lang mahabang greetings mo. You can simply say good afternoon, good morning, good evening. And then after that, you can go to the audio video check by saying, can you hear me clearly? Can you see me clearly? And then you can go to the self introduction. My name is Orly. What's your name? After that, you can ask some follow up questions like, what do you do? How long have you been studying here? Why do you want to learn English? Hi, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, I do. Can you see me clearly? Yeah. Great. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Alpha. Uh-huh. Nice to meet you, Alpha. Please call me Orly. Orly. That's right. Uh -huh. And are you a student or a worker? Yeah, I'm a student. Uh-huh. And what's your major? I'm majoring in English. Great, I see. Why did you choose that major? Because I want to expand my vocabulary. Uh-huh, I see. Yeah, I think that's a great After that, idea. you go to the speech rate. Sa speech rate, dun mo tatanungin kung mabilis ka bang magsalita. So you can say, am I speaking too fast? or just okay. After that, you can already start asking about the book. So you can say, today you want to study Grammar Beginner 4. The title is, why do you need natto? Is that correct? Anyway, so for today's lesson, you chose Grammar Beginner 4. Today's topic's title is, why do you need natto? Is that correct? Yeah, right. So that is for the warm-up part. After the warm-up part, you need to go to the lesson proper. Ang kailangan mong tandaan during the lesson proper is to give corrections to your students, especially sa kanilang pronunciation. At para mas maging organized ang pagbibigay mo ng correction sa kanila, you need to use the chat box. So you can say, I'll be writing the word in the chat box. Please repeat after me. Para mas magamit mo ang chat box, you can also um, copy the question on the book, paste it on the chat box, and the sample answer. 
Magagamit mo din ang chat box to easily check their grammar mistakes. So you can write the wrong sentence first. After that, you can ask the student to read the correct sentence. Here's a sample video for the lesson proper. Great, please check today's goal. To be able to talk about the lessons behind the actions. Or you should say reasons. Reasons. All right, please check today's phrases and repeat after me twice. Why do you need natto for the barbecue? 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 Because we cook it with meats and vegetables. Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. One more time. Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. All right. Please repeat after me just one more time. Say vegetables. Vegetables. All right. Now let's move on to new words and expressions. Please check the directions. Listen and repeat after your teacher. Let's read the words. Repeat after me twice. Because. 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 Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. 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 No way. No way. No way. No way. Ask. 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 Why did you ask? Why did you ask? Why did you ask? Why did you ask? Anyway. 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 I want them anyway. I want them anyway. I want them anyway. I want them anyway. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. By the way. By the way. By the way. By the way. By the way, why do you need so many snacks? By the way, why do you need so many snacks? By the way, why do you need so many snacks? By the way, why do you need so many snacks? All right, say it again. Snacks. Snacks. All right, let's go to the short conversation. Please check the directions. Read the following conversation with your teachers. All right, let's read it together. Repeat after me. Wait, why do you need natto for the barbecue? Wait, why do you need natto for the barbecue? Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. Meat. Meat. What? No way. What? No way. Why did you ask? Why did you ask? Because I don't like natto. Because I don't like natto. Too bad. By the way, Charlotte, why do you need so many snacks? Too bad. By the way, Charlotte, why do you need so many snacks? Because I need them for the barbecue. Because I need them for the barbecue. No, you don't. We have many snacks for the barbecue at your home. No, you don't. We have many snacks for the barbecue at your home. Barbecue. Barbecue. One more time. Barbecue. 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 All right. Barbecue. Mm -hmm. I know we do, but I want more anyway. I know we do, but I want more anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's read the words or the sentences one more time. Wait, why do you need natto for the barbecue? Wait, why do you need natto for the barbecue? Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. What? No way. What? No way. Why did you ask? 
Why did you ask? Because I don't like natto. Because I don't like natto. Too bad. By the way, Charlotte, why do you need so many snacks? Too bad. By the way, Charlotte, why do you need so many snacks? Because I need them for the barbecue. Because I need them for the barbecue. No, you don't. We have many snacks for the barbecue at your home. No, you don't. We have many snacks for the barbecue at your home. I know we do, but I want more anyway. I know we do, but I want more anyway. And now this time, I will be Charlotte. You will be James, okay? All right. Wait, why do you need natto for the barbecue? Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. What? No way. Why did you ask? Because I don't like natto. Too bad. By the way, Charlotte, why do you need so many, many snacks? Because I need them for the barbecue. No, you don't. We have many snacks for the barbecue at your home. I know we do, but I want more anyway. Okay, now you will be Charlotte. I will be James. Please start. Wait. Why do you need natto for the barbecue? Because we cook it with meat and vegetables. What? No way. Why did you ask? Because I don't like natto. Too bad. By the way, Charlotte, why do you need so many snacks? Because I need them for the barbecue. No, you don't. We have many snacks for the barbecue at your home. I know we do, but I want more anyway. All right, good job. This time, we're going to go to the question part. Please check the directions. Answer the following questions about the story. Let's answer question number one. Does Charlotte like natto? No. Okay, or you can also say, no, she doesn't like natto. Please check the chat box. Say, no, she doesn't like natto. Good. Let's answer number two. Why does James need natto for the barbecue? Because they cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or you can also say because they cook or he cooks it with meats and vegetables. Check your chat box. Because they cook. Cook it with meat and vegetables. All right. Let's have number three. Does Charlotte want more snacks? Yes, she does. Good. That's right. Now let's move on to the exercise. Please check the directions. Look at the following pictures and arrange the words form to form correct sentence. Okay. Let's look at the first picture. Why does he need another slice of pizza? Because he's hungry. That's right. Because he's hungry. Do you like pizza? Yeah, I, I do. see. I like pizza too. Anyway, let's have the second picture. Why do they need a new car? Because the new there is the new design. Okay. There is the new design, or you can say because they like the new design. Check it, chat box. Say it again. Because they like the new design. Good job. Let's go to the next page to Ginopechi. Let's have the first picture. Why do you need more beer? Because I'm thirsty. All right. And why does he need a new pair of jeans? Because his jeans are old. That's right. Why do you need a new cell phone? Because my friends have a new self cell phone. Oh, say it again. Because my, my friends have new cell phones. That's right. Because my friends have new cell phones. You already have a cell phone. You don't need a new one. I want it anyway. Okay, good. Nice answer. 
Do you have any questions so far? No. Okay. Now let's move on to the free conversation. Check the directions. Let's use phrases and words you've learned during the lesson and talk about the following topics freely. Let's start. Why do you study English? Because I want to expand my. Because I want to learn in. I want to use it in school. Uh huh. I see. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. And how long have you been studying here on Native Camp? It, I study here. I have been studying here for almost one month. Ah, I see. Are you enjoying so far? Yes, I do. Uh huh. And we have four macro skills in English. We have reading, listening. Writing and speaking. Which one do you want to improve on? I think the writing skills one. Ah, uh, I see. You can say, "I'd like to improve my writing skills." Please check your chat box and say it one more time. I'd like to improve my writing skills. All right, great. So that is for the lesson proper. Now this time, let's go to the feedback or the review part. Marami applicants ang nagreteak ng demo lesson dahil hindi nila nafa follow yung flow ng pagbibigay ng corrections sa last part ng demo lesson. So here are three things that you need to remember for the review part. You need to give some words learned, mispronounced word. At at least one grammatical mistake. For the words learned, you can choose three words or phrases from the new words and expressions. This is the part where you ask your student to read some words or phrases twice. Para naman sa mispronounced words, you can choose from any part of the book and just ask your student to repeat after you three times. For the grammatical mistake, pwede ka magbigay ng isa lang na wrong sentence na nabigay ng estudyante mo. For example, uh, during the self-introduction, you ask your student about what she does or what he does. And he or she said, I am engineer. So you can say, please do not forget, you should not say, I am engineer, but you should say, I am an engineer. So you can ask your student to read the correct sentence. You can write it in the chat box and then ask your student to repeat after you three times. So you have to remember these three words learned, mispronounced words, and grammatical mistake. And this time we are going to have a review for today's lesson. Please look right. at the yellow part. Listen carefully. I will read it to you now. Here are three words that we learned today. Please check your chat box. Repeat after me. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Anyway. 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 Uh huh. Say because. 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 All right. Here are three words that you mispronounced today. Please take note of these words. Repeat after me again. Say vegetables. Vegetables. Veg vegetables. Say it again. Vegetables. 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 One last time. Vegetables. Vegetables. Uh huh. Say snacks. 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 One last time. Snacks. Snacks. Okay. Say meat. 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 All right. And a while ago, you said you wanted to improve on your 
writing skills, you can say, I'd like to improve my writing skills. 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 So that's it for today. Do you have any questions for me? None, teacher. All right, you did a great job. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. So, those are the things that you have to remember for your demo lesson. Above all, don't forget to pray. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.